Boom shakalaka, things are about to get wild for Bitcoin. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including things about to get wild for Bitcoin, where particularly we could be headed you might want to hold on to your seats. Before we get into it, guys, like the video helps out a whole bunch. Come join us on Twitter at The Crypto Love, where every day we share all of these awesome charts. Now, today, fear and greed, 82 extreme greed, booyah. We are in extreme greed for the past week. And the overall market up another 4% today. Bitcoin at 59 at 283, Ethereum at 33.47. BNB at 409, Solana 114, XRP 58 cents, Cardano 63 cents, Avalanche $40, and Dogecoin 10 cents. Watch out for this Dogecoin breakout coming. It's not going to be a surprise when it happens. Now, right now, after this little consolidation pattern where Bitcoin went sideways for roughly 10 days, well, it looks like the continuation pattern could put us all the way up to roughly $60,000 and change, maybe even $63,000. That's pretty close to a previous all-time high. Right now, you can see both above and below the price, there is a lot of leveraged players there. We could see a breather here given the magnitude of the recent run, but anyone shorting here is stepping in front of a bulldozer and about to get run over. Levered bears will likely provide the fuel to $60,000. We are seeing that right now. And observations from the Bitcoin order books right here. Sellers are moving sell liquidity to the $70,000 level. Even they know the current sell wall won't hold for long. Many buyers are still sidelined, hoping to buy in at 30 to 40. They will all be forced to bid higher, giving us more fuel to run. All-time higher, all-time highs, only a matter of time. TikTok, yes, unlikely for price to go down from here. Now, we are entering the distribution zone for Bitcoin right here, the 60 to $70,000 area. Right now, Bitcoin is just below there. A couple possible scenarios, both of them including a pullback, one pulling back to this first moving average, the second one to the second moving average. But guess what? None of them are going to the thirty dollars to $40,000 level, maybe at the lowest, roughly $45,000. But even that would be gambling when you consider this right here. If we take a look at the total over-the-counter desk balance, you can see this has been dropping dramatically, like almost going to nothing recently. And while this is not the entire over-the-counter desk, you can see that supply levels are near zero. You can see that right there. Meaning that with increased demand as we see new all-time highs, guess what? Price is going to skyrocket. We have a signal right here that Bitcoin has tagged the two-month parabolic SAR. Historically, Bitcoin goes parabolic every time it hits that and this plus flips to the bottom. It is all up territory. We have done that once again, hitting the parabolic SAR, meaning we are entering all up territory with no supply left and potentially huge demand now that we have a spot ETF and anyone can buy Bitcoin if they can find any left at a decent price. Now, right now, the price levels we are seeing Bitcoin flips this and we will enter price discovery, meaning there is no overhead volume, meaning that how high it can go is really just what people are willing to pay for it. The frenzy shall begin, maybe even a new all-time high before the halving. It looks like the dip right here between 25 and 32,000 was the only chance to buy in low. Should Bitcoin echo SPX or the S&P 500 could be all up territory from here on out, and I would agree with that likely happening. Right now, Bitcoin's at the final resistance before a new all-time high. Should it break through here, a new all-time high before the halving, totally possible. And guess what? We're not even seeing anything of a sell-off that would echo like a top is even close. You can see here the one-year hot waves begin to go down as we approach a top. Well, right now, Barely. We're pretty much just continuing sideways, barely even a tick down. Likely, this could be lasting for a while longer, a year, maybe even longer. This says a year right now. Every time historically when the RSI trend line has broken this level, it's been roughly 12 months. This was 11, 13, and 12. 
So roughly 12 months until the next peak all-time high. So that would put the next one roughly around Christmas of 2024. Should that happen, we could have an insane 10 months coming up. Very, very spectacular. It is worth noting that every previous cycle, the RSI did first tag these levels and then come back down a little bit. This cycle, it has yet to come back down. Could we see a little bit of retracement? Maybe, but I would not bet on it that point. What if we have a Bitcoin super cycle. What if it is all up parabola territory? I think we've waited long enough. I think the demand is here. The supply is gone. It's just a matter of time until we see new all-time highs and potentially hundreds, if not millions of dollars per Bitcoin. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. I love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.